Hello, I am Tina Pehi. I'm a Google Certified Trainer and a member of Global GEG from Manila, Philippines. I'm going to answer how can my students and I use the Classroom Mobile app, which relates to hybrid learning in Google Classroom. Since the majority of students and teachers are using mobile devices like smartphones and tablets rather than laptops, Google developed classroom features specifically for mobile devices to help you maximize its use for hybrid learning. I will share three new features showcasing how students and teachers can use the classroom mobile app, including smart image capture, mobile grading improvements, and offline modes. Let's break down how we can use each of these features. First is the smart image capture. Using this feature, students can now attach and submit photos in the classroom app more seamlessly. This includes combining photos into a single document using the scanner. To do that, your student needs to click on Add Work, choose the scanner to capture the first photo, then click on OK. Next, click on the plus icon at the bottom to add another photo. Do the same process to add more photos. Finally, click on Save. As you can see, the photos are now combined into a single document. Also with Smart Image Capture, students can edit the photos by cropping, rotating, and improving lighting after capturing the image, just like this one. They can click on the assignment, add work, take a photo using the camera. Students may crop the photo, remove unwanted portion, rotate it if necessary, adjust the lighting, save or save a copy before turning it in. The second feature is the mobile grading improvements. Teachers can now easily switch between student submissions, grade work while viewing an assignment, and share feedback. While checking the Google Classroom main workbooks, teachers can easily review the documents submitted by students and give feedback. This work can be done in the following way. Open Assignments in the Classwork tab and click on the student's name. To check the student's assignments, open the submission, write down your responses, or check their work. Click on Save once you're done. Write down the student mark and return the work. The third feature, which I think is really awesome, is the offline mode. Now the Classroom app works offline or with intermittent connections. Students are able to start their work offline, review their assignments, open drive attachments, and write assignments in Google Docs all without an internet connection. So the student need to choose the work that they would like to save offline, click on save offline, and it will say the file can now be used offline. Make sure that you open the work once with internet connection before you turn off the Wi-Fi. After that, they will be able to access their work offline. By utilizing these new features related to assessment, image capture, and offline access, Teachers and students can maximize their online and hybrid learning experiences using the Google Classroom app. Now we know how to best use the Google Classroom app to make teaching and learning simpler for teachers and students. Thank you!